What's up? My name is Jake, and today in this video, I am in Vega, Texas. I've been traveling around the country in my van for the past couple weeks, and I'm here today because I'm really wanting to get a package. It's what I've pretty much just been waiting for that package to arrive, and that's why I'm here in this small little Farad Route 66 community of roughly 900 to 1,000 people. We're on the plains. It, there's not a whole lot going on here, but I'm gonna try to make the most of it, see if there's anything that's interesting that can be learned here. Yeah, because that's the whole point of, of travel in the first place. I'm gonna go get breakfast and then get started with the day and do a little bit of exploring. Peace. So in a community this small, it doesn't take at all long to get noticed. I definitely feel like quite an outsider here. To give you a reference as to how Texas this place is, they have a monument outside of their town hall of the Ten Commandments, which <laughs> I, I, th I thought was I thought was pretty interesting. I just could not imagine living in a place like this. I mean, I don't think this. It's it's not that there's anything wrong. I'm not judging it. It's just that for me, I just couldn't imagine myself being here. There's not even a gym here. They don't even have a McDonald's here. Like that's how rural this place is. All the things that I would ever want to do in life, it's just like you're so limited to the experiences you can have. And maybe some people like that. Maybe some people like that limitation. That just you know not having a whole lot of things to think about, things to do. But I just. You know, I want a life where I can go to the gym and train martial arts, go surfing and do a bunch of things. And I just feel in a place like this, you're just very barren and there's not any of those options. But I don't know, maybe people, maybe people like that. If you can see that little junkyard right there, that is Dimas Buy, Sell, and Trade. So Dimas is a guy, he's a, he's a Mexican guy, short little guy with this infectious smile. And he started that whole junkyard over there. Or I don't want to call it a junkyard, but he started that, that, that buy, sell, trade place over there with one item. He said he started it with a forklift and has been here, you know, for the past, you know, de like decades just at that little shop. I thought that was a pretty neat story. I think it's an example of just American capitalism. You start with one item and then you trade and you build it up and you build it up and you build it up. All right, major change of plans. Apparently the post office is closed on Saturday and Sunday. One of the reasons why I really like this lifestyle is because I have the flexibility to, when things like this happen, when plans change, I can decide that I'm gonna pretty much live somewhere else for a little bit. There's a park like an hour north of here that I'm gonna go to and I'm gonna go there and get a little bit of peace and quiet and then head out. So, see you then. Alrighty, it's been real. Last night I got to this little park. Really cool spot. I mean, if you could see, like, I'm just surrounded by mountains and, and I guess these are mountains, but it's just I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's no people around here. There's nothing whatsoever. It's, it's honestly, it's really cool. It's really cool that I have the ability, I have the freedom, like when when I was in that small little town that was just basically a truck stop, I'm like, okay, this sucks. I wanna go somewhere else. I could just be like, all right, let me take my home and go somewhere else. Let me just go to a different place and and I like this this is nice because there's no like I said when I first opened the door and I heard that silence I was like huh cool I can do whatever I want I can you know I can do different things I can practice archery I could play guitar I could you know focus on work I don't even have service right now so you know there's <laughs> so definitely when I when I'm in places like this my mind just feels so much clearer and and I just I just I, I don't know I'm really, I'm really, I'm really grateful for. I'm really grateful that I have this freedom. I think that there's a lot of, there's definitely a lot of downsides to living out of your van, but it's a trade-off. Like you're sacrificing certain things, and for me, being the type of person I am, I like the ability to have like this kind of, you know, just this kind of like expanse. Like this is my, like my backyard is the entire world. All right, so just to recap everything, I did end up going back to Vega. I did end up getting my package. I had recorded a bunch of footage, but I ended up losing all of it. I'm still new to this. I'm still making all sorts of dumb mistakes, but I really enjoy it. I think it's a, it's a lot of fun for me to make these videos and to fuck around, even though right now I'm 
really bad at it, but I'm okay with being bad at it for now. Also, on a sadder note, I ended up crashing my drone in Vegas, so I'm gonna have to probably get a new drone. But yeah, I was flying it, I was making a risky maneuver with the drone, and I just, just did not go well. My drone just fell to the ground and shattered to pieces. So to, to kind of talk a little bit about what I learned in Vega, um, I would say, if anything, my biggest takeaways from Vega was that I just, it, more questions than anything, more just like how can someone live in a town like this where there's nothing to do and there's, uh, I, I think there was like cornfields nearby or something like that, agriculture nearby, so I guess that's what people's jobs were, but it was just so barren I mean, and it was a truck stop, so there was so much noise and I was just, I did not understand it whatsoever. But. Hey, it's a different spectrum of life, and it's just one little stop on this journey that I will be continuing on at least for the next six months throughout the United States. But just to update everything, I am currently in New Mexico. I'm near Santa Fe, and I'm learning a lot about the area. I'm, I'm reading a little bit of history about the area. So, yeah, with that said, um, until next time, peace.